Hello, Danny Villa. Welcome to Daily Rima on AGTV. My name is Stephen Yanusov Wenga. In the year of holiness, we are looking at how loving your neighbor makes the believer holy. We have so far looked at the call to love your neighbor unto holiness, the keys for holy living. Now we are looking at the cross you will bear when you choose to love unto holiness. The price you pay better still. Now the world will hit you without a cause when you choose to love your neighbor unto holiness. The world will retain your love with hatred. First John 3, 11 and 13. What does the word of God say? For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Let's add 12 and then 13. We should not be like Cain who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. 13. Do not be surprised that the world hates you. Hallelujah. Abel did not commit any sin against his brother. When his brother hated him, his brother murdered him. And the Bible states categorically clear that the world won't hate you when you even show them love. And that's why many don't love. That's why many feel that loving your neighbor doesn't pay off because they love somebody and somebody paying their good with evil. Hallelujah. But nevertheless, it is not for you to stop loving because somebody hates you. The Bible reveals that when your neighbor hates you, love your neighbor. And that's how you can bring conviction onto the person that the person may decide to get bored again one of those days. Then secondly, the price you pay, the, con the, the, the cross you bear for choosing to be holy. You have to pay a huge price. You have to lay down your life for your neighbor. How did I come to this conclusion? First John 3, verse number 16. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. We do hear that. The Bible is saying that love means be willing to lay down your life. Christ gave us the best example in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that Christ came to lay down his life for us. Love is synonymous to giving your best to God and to your neighbor. And in this scripture, he says that love is laying down your life. This generation has reduced love to sex. So when a man says, I love you, he's actually telling you, I want to go to bed with you. But this can't kind of be. If that is the case, that we'll be having sex with our parents, with our siblings, with anybody we love. Sex is only a man, one of the minutest components of a husband expressing his love to his wife. So Christ says, love means laying down your life, sacrificing what will be of benefit to you and then to make your neighbor happy. Then in verse 17, he said, But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, and yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? So love means sacrifice. Love means disadvantaging yourself for someone who is in the critical need to be blessed. That's why in Psalm 41, the Bible says, Blessed are those who care for the poor. Blessed are those who care for the poor. And when you go to 1 Corinthians 13, um, reading for verse number 1, he talks about the agape love, the God kind of love. He says, love is patient, love is kind. The kind of love that when you demonstrate to your neighbor makes you holy. This kind of love does not envy all like kid who entered his brother and therefore killed him and became unholy. Love is not arrogant or rude. A devil insists on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing. The kind of love that makes you holy is the love that bears all things that tolerate all kinds of things from your neighbor, believes all things that end to end well. And then he began the first Corinthians 18 by saying that. You cannot have a prophetic gift. You cannot create the gifts of the Spirit. But if you know how love, he says, you are only a noisy instrument. To the extent that he says that he can command mouthpiece to move, raise the dead, 
But if you don't have love, you are nothing. It means that you can do without many sweet gifts and be holy, but you cannot do without love and be holy. I urge you, choose to love your neighbor to be holy. God bless you, save time tomorrow. Then the rumor comes your way on AGTV. I love you. Bye for now.